Let's talk about uh, what made you decide to change it. There's a change that happened on the 25th anniversary of, of Les Mis. To be honest, I was bored looking after the same show again and again. I mean, the authors, the directors, they all go away, but it's my job to make sure that the show, wherever it's done in the world, is as good as it can be. And the question time in the fight you agree Well, the fighting is hard, this is my own Talking about success, the success of all the shows, the one, one of some of the longest running shows. What's the secret to doing that? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what there is no secret. I mean, I think the thing that matters most to me, um, and it's always been a very important thing for my career, is that I want the show, uh, however long it runs, to be as good when the audience comes to see it yeah. as they read about when it first opened. So my staff and I, we put an enormous amount of work to finding new talent all the time so that the cast is as fresh and the production is treated as a brand new production. I mean, even here in this theatre, I've been changing bits of the scenery and we've all been fine tuning it during the previews because we want it to be like an experience like no other. Yeah. Uh, and I think that has made, had a big, ex a big reason for its success. I just want to ask this, um, you're considered Forbes' first billionaire, first um, theatre billionaire, but <laughs> you still queue, queue up for cheap tickets, I hear. Y yes. So why, why do you do that? Um, because I, you know, the first 20 years of my life, I had absolutely no money, I just had rather large debts um, until I produced Cats, you know, and when I started as a stagehand and a cleaner, you know, I earned... 14 pounds a week, which, um, you know, I, I learned the value, the value of money. And even to this day, I'm always surprised how much things cost. I'm always telling my <laughs> productions, oh, surely we don't have to spend that money. Um, but I've been taught, I was always taught to make $1 look like $5 on the stage. So that's what I still strive to do. That's amazing. You're an inspiration, Caroline. Thank you so much. One more thing. I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you are so, Oh, now no, it's even now, worse. Yes. <laughs> there we are. Okay. I got it's that picked off my bucket list. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.